Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new, my name is Jahan and I'm going to be your tour reader for right now. So do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. Um, but this is going to be your love oracle messages. It is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to stumble upon this and watch it, will be the right time for you to see it. Um, it may resonate differently for each and every one of you as we are, we are all on different phases um, on our human and soul experience. So I do suggest re-watching it after some time has gone by to see what comes to light for you. Make sure you guys click the bell and subscribe and enjoy the reading. Hi Pisces. Let's take a look at your love oracle messages. We have money. We have friendship. And we have beauty queen. Overall, we have passion. Wow. Okay, so Pisces, with this beauty queen, I'm getting the sense that you guys are living to your fullest potential. You're really in the spotlight. You're the star. I feel like you're getting a lot, a lot of attention. Um, some of you, I feel as though your like personality is like really, really big. Like you have a super charismatic personality. Um, you have this like this energy that like just really draws people in. I love Pisces, by the way. Like. Yeah, I'm dating a Pisces right now. I just, I love Pisces, but yeah, I just feel like you guys are looking good, feeling good, smelling good. Look at her, like she's like super confident. And I feel as though your money is looking right, Pisces, or I feel as though you're going to end up bonding with someone who has, um, who has money. You might meet this person through a friend, or this might even uh, start off as a friendship. But with the money card, this is um, this speaks of abundance, opulence, financial success, blessings, money concerns and worries, a boost in finances, and focus on the, uh, focusing on the material and money. So I feel as though with the beauty queen uh, and friendship, you guys might be having a lot of fun with your friends. You guys aren't focused on any money issues. And if you do have money issues, I feel like there's going to be some sort of increase in your finances. Uh, that'll cause like a much needed sense of relief uh, relief but with the passion card i see someone coming in for you um with your overall energy again this is uh, someone that you could meet through your friends or something that starts off as a really good friendship because there's an understanding and a, a sense of compatibility like you guys are compatible maybe there's a sense of familiarity and comfort I feel like whoever this person you're passionate about, you already know. I feel as though there might be gossip surrounding this person. Um, so you might talk about this person a lot or ask about this person with your friends or vice versa. They might be asking around about you. Um, I feel like this person might be coming towards you and you might be hearing about this before this even happens. Uh, this might be the young male you're dealing with or this might be uh, you watching this if you're a young male. I feel like if this this isn't someone who is young, I feel like they might have a youthful energy to, work, to, to them. They might be into cars and sports or have like an athletic build. Huh. Let me clarify with my Gilded Tarot here. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have the Hierophant. Wow, we have the Two of Cups, Pisces. <laughs> so Pisces, you could be dealing with another Pisces, or you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio, or you could even be dealing with a, uh, a Taurus individual. But like with the Hierophant and the Work card for a group of you, I feel as though you work with this person. Maybe you guys work in a large company or, or in some sort of institution. Maybe you, you'll, you'll meet this person through like your work friends or work colleagues or coworkers, and I feel like you have some sort of union from whenever you happen to see this, I feel like you guys have a union coming, some sort of serious relationship. I definitely feel like you guys are leaving a controlling situation or you may have left a controlling situation, a dating situation with a mature man, possibly Pisces, or this could be you, the mature man. And it doesn't necessarily have to be someone 
who is older. It could be someone who's just really mature in age. And I see a lot of fun times ahead for you, Pisces. So that's super dope. Wow. Uh, with the Two of Cups, again, uh, this kind of is one and the same with the Passion card. Uh, this could be a soulmate or this could be someone who um, you just get. You, you guys just click. You know what I mean? There's like a sense. I just saw 444. Like there's a sense of understanding with one another. This card means strong chemistry and attraction with someone, mutual attraction, passionate love life passionate about life in general passionate about goals projects and creativity um, and when we have passion in our lives and follow our passion it also brings success so I feel as though a lot of you guys are going to reconnect with what makes you uh, what makes you really passionate about life I feel like that's what you're going to reconnect with some of you it might even be something in the beauty industry you might be a model or a photographer or a makeup artist nail tech you might do hair you might be a dancer, you might do stage performance, but whatever you do, even if you work in an office setting, this is something I feel uh, like you're passionate about. And I feel like that's what has manifested, um, you know, this kind of love towards you. I'm going to clarify with one more card. Wow, the star. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, like, I'm telling you, you're getting so much attention. Um, people see you as the star. Like, literally, you're attractive. I feel like some of you, you might even have some sort of uh, popularity or fame if you're watching this. And this could be, like, on a large scale or on a small scale. Um, I feel like someone's secretly checking you out with the Seven of Swords. This might be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. <laughs> like with the seven of swords like i'm getting like they might be watching you as like you're doing your own your own thing you know like she's pouring those two cups in the water and i feel as though pisces you're very conscious like i feel as though uh the way her like forehead is lit up i feel as though that's like your third eye some of you have managed to th open your third eye or you're like very very conscious of what you put in your body or you're just conscious period um you have a link with source and creator and I feel like you glow, like you're very attractive. And I feel like someone is on the sideline watching you. And this person might not be completely honest that they, uh, you know, about how they truly feel about you, Pisces. Wow. I feel as though maybe this is someone from your past. Uh, someone maybe you had some sort of harsh ending with, with the Ten of Swords. Maybe you've known this person since, your ch uh, since you guys were kids. Or for a group of you, this is someone you have kids with. I'm definitely feeling soulmate vibes. Maybe you felt betrayed by this Libra Gemini Aquarius in the past or this Cancer or uh, Scorpio individual. But Pisces, I feel like that uh, there's an ending, especially if you have like uh, memories. I feel like this person has fond memories and they want to, uh, they miss you. They want to end, you know, that, per that difficult period or cycle with the Ten of Swords. I see that uh, coming to an end. Wow. Did you guys see that? Like way too many way too many i'm gonna pull i know i said i i was gonna pull one last card but i'm gonna pull one one last card because i love pisces and i don't mind you guys show me so much love and i really appreciate all of the likes and the comments so thank you so much okay one last card for pisces Woo! okay we have the eight of pentacles pisces i see you really focusing and working on yourself um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, I feel as though maybe if this is the person from your past, I feel like they're working towards coming towards you because it's true love. Uh, they're working towards making things right, especially if it was a Libra. I see as though they want balance. I, I'm even seeing like an apology. If you were like betrayed, I feel like things will finally uh, be balancing off. Look, you have this star card, Pisces. So I feel as though whatever you've been praying and hoping and wishing for, you guys will get that justice. And I know this is a love reading, but I see like if you have any court cases or if you're working towards words like going to court working on some sort of uh, disposition or whatever i feel as though it'll go in your favor um and i feel as though whatever you've been hoping and praying for uh in love i see wish fulfillment with the star card and i i feel as though this will definitely uh, come into fruition if not already in aquarius season so just look up aquarius season but thank you so much for watching pisces uh infinite blessings